coffee. I love coffee. See back there? Sun's coming up in Northwest Ohio, but trees still need some leaves on them. It's still early spring. How pretty is that? Who needs music when you can sit outside and let the birds sing to you, right? And um, so, hey guys, I'm Bren, and this is day four. Um, well, technically it's day five, I'm late. I got too busy on Tuesday, and now it's Wednesday, so I'm squeezing my video in real quick. But that's okay, I'll still have another one today. But today, today this is for day four of the SS Veda, SSS Veda, three S's, three, three S's Veda vlog every day in April. And so today's topic on the event was tell us what you love about Mondays, or what do you love most about Mondays? So. On Mondays, I love Mondays. Most people are like, oh, it's Monday, I gotta go back to work, the weekend's over, no more fun. Not true, not true at all. Mondays are cool because for the past seven or so years, it's been seven years, oh my gosh, that's a long time. So I've been heading up a Twitter chat called Garden Chat, it's hashtag Garden Chat. And it's super fun and I love it. In fact, it's still going. It's pretty fun. There's still some cool people who show up weekly. Um, and we talk about gardening and growing things. And it's really cool just to have fun. And, and lately it's gotten really fun on Mondays because now Twitter over the past year has given us like gifts you can put, you know, the animated gifts you can put on your tweets. Those are so much fun. So I spent a lot of the hours just cracking up and I have to go back during the week and read all the great gardening content. So that's what I love about Mondays. Mondays are awesome and I want to invite you guys just to come on over, connect with us. Even if you don't have a garden, maybe you should seriously think about bringing some plants indoors. Not to mention there's tons of really cool stuff that you can use indoors to grow your own food. You could grow sprouts, you could grow salads, you could grow herbs. You could just grow a little friend, pretty little house plant. I love you little basil plant. Easy. And having a plant indoors does so much for the inside of your home. Not only does it add a piece of nature inside, which is always good, it also provides some great factors for purifying, Art, you yeah. know, a scientific kind of stuff like that. So on that note, that's what I love about Mondays. I'm the garden chat girl. Okay, so here's what garden chat's like. So I'm on my iPad here. It's real easy. You just go down here and hit search. And up at the top, you're going to type in garden chat. Look, it's already saved on mine. Imagine that. Here we go. When you tap it, garden chat comes up. Hey, look, that's me. <laughs> Follow me. And so to see what's going on on the chat, if you join us at the scheduled time from 9 to 10, you just hit latest. So at the top, you just tap latest under hashtag garden chat. And you'll see starting at 9.15, the questions come. And here's like an example of the first question. And all you do, you know, then you could see what everybody's saying during the event. And um, to participate, all you do is you go in and you hit the reply on Twitter and answer the question. And that puts you in the recap each week. And as you can tell, there's a lot of really great people you can connect with um, that share fun stuff throughout the week um, about gardening and so on. We've got some foodies and all kinds of people who participate. And this takes place from 9 to 10 on Mondays, Eastern Time, p.m. So if you go over to my page at brenhaus.com, and in the menu, you just click on, oop, right here, Garden Chat Twitter. Then once you hit Garden Chat Twitter on my page, you'll see all the Twitter events, which is really cool. Then you can just go right on in to the event that you may have missed. This was from back um, February. 
So on the page for each event, like this was the latest, um, you'll find the topic and all you need to know. In fact, even a spot where you can click and tweet to join in ahead of time, you'll find the questions. And then after the event, the questions are here. And when you click on this highlighted spot, it takes you directly to the question on Twitter. And you can answer it and be a part of it. Um, here's a Pinterest. You can click that and share it on your Pinterest. But I'll show you what happens when you click on the question after the 9 o'clock event. Just click there. So it takes you to the question on Twitter. This is on Twitter now. And you can see what everybody shared about the questions. So let's see, this particular one was um, what, what is direct sow and have you ever done this in your garden? And so here's some great people from basically around the world who answered the question. And it's neat to learn from everyone very cool. And then you can contribute if you want to answer it still, even after the event, by hitting reply once you're signed into Twitter. And it's that easy. Today's going to be short because, because. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? Here are the birds. I hear a robin. I haven't heard that noisy blue jay yet, but hey, look, I have a toilet in my garden. I need to do a vlog about that. I don't usually have a toilet sitting in my backyard. Um, we've got some remodeling going on because uh, we're also DIYers here and that's a lot of fun. And I should share more about that. Oh, here come some big ones. There they are, four of them. They come by every day. They're heading to the river, which is close by. So hey, that's where I live. And so, hey, I wanna invite you guys to find out more about Garden Chat, um, you can visit my website at brenhaas.com slash garden chat or follow me on Twitter and of course, subscribe. Click down here, subscribe. And uh, this is gonna be fun. Stay tuned for the next video.